Hi, welcome to Matt Connors and Unleashed. Who's this? Uh, EDG. Easy G, Eric Gagnon, you are, uh, you're getting in early, which is good. Early in the, nice and early in the show. Right. There's your theme music. I <laughs> yeah, I appreciate that. I know I'm sexy. I've got the look. The drives are cool. While I've got the mood. The moon. move. I said chill. Up and down their spine. I'm not your boy toy. I'm just a sexy boy. I'm not your boy toy. I'm not By the way, Easy G, I know that uh, you're not anyone's boy toy, but I still have to wonder will one of our lucky listeners find you under their tree this Christmas? I, I can I can barely hear you. Oh, I'll say it again. That's better. Oh oh oh. Okay. <laughs> now I I said I know you're not anyone's boy toy because we don't uh, mean to objectify you in any way. But uh, right. putting, putting that aside, can one of our lucky listeners expect to find you under their uh, tree this Christmas? Oh really? <laughs> Who would that be? I don't know. I'm just asking. I don't know. I wonder. Yes. Christian's, I wonder. Christian's wondering as well. I don't I don't know. One of the callers wants me to be under their tree? Well, I think we can safely assume. I mean, honestly, why do people really listen to the show? It's, it's because I don't of, know. It's because of you. Who is it? Visions of Sugar Plums and Easy G dance in their heads. No, I don't know. Uh, just some uh, hypothetical, uh, theoretical person out there who uh, who would love to find oh. you under their tree, unwrapped, if you know yeah, what I, I mean. Give, I think give a shout out, <laughs> shout out to the, a friend of mine's birthday. Uh-huh. Referred to him as Gary the Gas Man. Gary the Gas Man. Yeah, because he used to pump gas and uh, <laughs> and help out at the gas station over the old stop and shop days on Valley and Lincoln. So if he's listening, happy birthday. All right. Happy birthday to Gary the Gas Man. I always like to say, you never know who's listening. That's true. No, uh, maybe Gary the Gas Man would like to find you uh, under his tree for Christmas. Who knows? Uh, (laughs) Well, we won't judge. It's it's 2019. You know, whatever whatever Gary the Gas uh, Man is into is A-OK. Are you you going to uh, Jabba Dams in a little while? Um, I'm not sure at the moment. I'm really not sure. I got a friend wanting to come over for the weekend. Oh, a friend wanting to come over for the weekend, huh? Mm. Well, it's their last oh, weekend. Right. Okay, so they just, gra- good time. they just graduated job course, so mm. I figured, you know. I thought you weren't. Uh, and everyone's getting out of college today. I thought with the you were done with the. Uh, yeah, I wonder, uh, I wonder where that uh, that uh, that man about town, Michael Martino, is. Uh, yesterday, I heard him on the show, and he says he's going to be on the uh, Peter White show. He wasn't there. He said he was going to be in a match and the Mac show in the he afternoon. And he's he not said there. He be here. Wonder where he is. He got called into work. Yeah, he texted me as well and said he got called into work. I hope that doesn't screw up his date. Yeah, with the, the I lovely might have Veronette. To swoop in. What? Oh wait, it's twenty one plus yeah, party. This, I can't was go. Was this today? I believe so. Yes, he was supposed to go on his date today. Oh my God, Easy G. If he's not, if he's not, if, if he can't go on his date because he has to work. This might be your opportunity to swoop in. No. Is, 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 this, is this today, Matt? Yes. The today. party. The party is today. It was fun. It was funny. Well, yeah, I guess that's not going to work. But uh, yeah, I'm not interested, anyways. But anyways. Oh, the, that's uh, right. Thir- thir- Thursday. Thir- I mean Wednesday when he was on another show. Sour he all the shows. He was on the uh, Kyle Levy show. They were making fun of him, saying, "How can we not work today?" Well, didn't they do the farm? I need to go back and listen to that because I think they were doing something where they were calling in, like they were calling him in sick on his behalf or something. Yeah, but they never they did called though. My, they called him in sick into his. I was work. wondering if it was I don't know. Kind I, of struck the truth, dude. I, we could why do would that he be on me. the radio and if he was supposed to be at his job site? Wouldn't they find out about that and say, "Oh God, he's on the radio." It's like that guy on the. Uh, one of the uh, sports players there, uh, 
he was supposed to say, oh, I had the flu. But yeah, he, they found out that he was bowling, and he bowled like a 251 game. Did you hear about that one? <laughs> no, I did not hear about that. Wow. Well, that's uh, yeah. Because if he was if I was sick with the flu, you shouldn't be out of bowling alley bowling a two fifty one game. The American work ethic kinda is looks like, dead. Kind of looks like he was lying. Yeah, a kind of yes. I mean, you can't bowl with the flu. Clearly, I mean, you know, and it's inconsiderate if you have the flu. You know, you stick your fingers in the holes, and then everybody else who sticks their fingers in those holes in the bowling <laughs> ball, they're yeah, gonna get your flu. Lying, lying is technically a sin. Very you unsanitary. Burn in hell. Yeah, bearing false witness. Yes, he is going to burn in hell, EZG. You're right. Oh, boy. Gonna burn in hell. You like Twisted Sister? You like yeah, that song? Wasn't that, You're gonna wasn't burn that, in hell. Wasn't that a man about Tom Michael Martin on your show yesterday? Yeah, and by the way, he d- I don't think he's very religious, Michael Martin. I'm worried he's gonna burn in hell, to be honest with you. But then again, I'm worried. He was on your show yesterday, wasn't he? He was here yesterday, yes. He was here yesterday. Yes, he was all excited about going on a date with Vernon March. And now, yes, he, he can't go now. Vernon. Vernon Vernet March. Vernet March, Easy G. Please, say, if, if you want to have a shot with her when, when he disappoints her, you got to say her name correctly. No, at least. I'm all set. Oh, I that's right. I told you before, right. the, lady, the lady unfortunately smokes. I mean, those, I still like her or not. Those grapes little, but, are awfully sour, aren't but they, But the turn off is a cigarette smoking. I don't, I don't really like that. Well, I told you about the girl I dated. Her name was Mary. This was a long time ago, and kissing her was like right. putting, putting my mouth in an ashtray. It was terrible. Damn. Oh, it was bad. Her and I did not last. Her and I did not last at all. It was disgusting. All righty. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to clear the lines. All right, EZG. Open it up for another caller. So wait, Eric. Have a great rest of your show, and maybe uh, we'll see you tonight. Wait, wait, uh, wait, wait. Across, and if not, you got to Are you, you going? Gotta a good time. Hello, hello. Are you going? Bye-bye. Are, are you going? <laughs> Kristen, you got to understand something about uh, EZG. Once he decides he's done, he's done. You could be, uh, you, you could be trying to tell him that... Uh, he just won the lottery, and he's a millionaire, and he'd be like, he, he's done. He's getting off the phone. He's he done. is finished. I was trying to see if he's going to go tonight. 